Hi folks, your friend Y.O. Wanderer is here. Uh, just an update on one of my previous videos. I, uh, I was working on this dash pad for the Ford. Um, it uh, got a bunch of cracks in here above the speaker. So I... I used some, JB Well makes a plastic bonder, so I took the plastic bonder and I, I uh, didn't have to work very hard at it. I took all the foam from the, underneath the speaker holes and I poured plastic bonder in it and filled it up. Uh, worked pretty good. I wish I'd have used uh, masking tape a little better when I did it. And I would have avoided having any little pock marks or holes. Um, there's still a few. There's no holes really. I, I filled them. I used a, a super glue product, or it's yeah, it's a product of super glue and some plastic filler of some sort, and uh, and it worked pretty well. But boy, if you put too much on, it doesn't. It's hard to sand. It's very, very difficult. So, this this part of the dash isn't beautiful, but it's it's fine. I also bought a can of uh, of paint. I'll leave the the number in the low bar. Uh, it's vinyl paint that I got at Napa. They mix it specifically to the color that you ask. I painted the dash and the glove box door. Ignore the parts on the floor there, radiator hoses that are going on when I put a new when I put a new radiator in. Anyway, um, the holes in the dash, the, well, the cracks wasn't a very big bunch of cracks, probably the size of a new half dollar, but uh, I'm sorry, a new silver dollar. Uh, is that the right way to say it? An Eisenhower dollar. Let's put it that way. Uh, but they bugged me, and now I don't have to worry about it. I'd probably put a piece of some, I don't know what, over the top of that, so I don't have to look at it. But its it looks okay. You know, way better than this poor old truck used to look anyway. Anyway, it looks better than before I had the, the, uh, the cracks in it, so I can live with that. Um, <clears throat> I guess, so I guess aside from... From the fact that the the filler I used was pretty dang hard and very difficult to sand smooth, I guess this was a success. And I suggest that if you want to repaint or repair your dash, um, you could send it off and get a new one. I think they're about four hundred and fifty dollars, or for about sixty bucks, you can buy all the stuff to fix yours. I think the paint and the Let's see, the plastic prep and the paint and this filler I, I bought at Napa was about 60 bucks. Uh, I don't remember how much the whole ticket was, but I think, I think those parts were 60 bucks. And it's pretty simple. You wipe that stuff down and honestly, it doesn't, it looks, it doesn't look tea bag. It's uh, pretty nice. Uh, this used to have dealer installed air conditioning, which failed miserably that's why it's got these two holes in the dash one of these days i'm going to go to a junkyard and i'm going to find one of these dash panels that doesn't have these holes in it and i'm going to swap out the whole stupid thing because i don't think it's hard and by the way if you're ever doing the the uh let's see what is it if you're ever doing the heater core on an 80 to 86 Ford pickup, take this damn dashed pad off so that you can get to the bolts that are, I guess, are back in uh, around this area between the two vents. Um, there's one bolt on the very top that's a dirty scoundrel to get. And if you just take like six bolts out of the dash, and there's, let me see if I can get, a good, get you a view underneath. There's a couple here. Where are we at? There we go. There's a couple here, one here rather, and one in the middle. Let me get you back. There we go. And then one over there. And then there's two 
above the radio. Oh, boy, I bet you can't see that at all. Anyway, there's two above the radio and three above the dash, or the instrument cluster. And then the four, two on each side of by the defroster register. If you'll take those screws out, this dash comes right off. Slip it in the, slip it into a nice flat surface in your shop or hell in your house for that matter. It's, they're not dirty, and the dash comes off, and you can get to the stinking the bolts that are underneath here. Um, a whole lot easier than crawling under the stinking thing trying to get a ratchet in there. It's a dirty bugger. I, the, I remember doing it and thinking, there's got to be a better way. Well, there is. Um, I might uh, link a picture of that dash off from the first time I, I, I painted this. All right. Well, anyway, I think that's all I had for you today. Uh, I'll link the paint number below. Not that yours dash is going to be the same as this but I'll try to link it so that you can get an idea of what paint I used and how it's who makes it and etc thanks for watching any questions you get any have any questions call, uh, let me know in the in the bar below thanks